Hey everyone, what's up? Joshua here with Alternative Brewing. Today, we're gonna to be brewing coffee using the Wakako Kappa Mocha. Now, the Kappa Mocha is an all-in-one travel brewing set that focuses on making pour-over coffee, which is usually reserved for at home or in a cafe. Now, the Kappa Mocha is easily portable and uses an inbuilt dripper that packs away into its tumbler, and this also functions as the thermos mug for when you've completed brewing. Wakako are well known for making travel brewing devices, whether it's for espresso, pods, or now pour overs. And you can easily check out the full range of Wakako products from this link up above. But stay with me now as we do brew some clean and delicious pour over coffee using the portable Wakako cup of mocha. A quick look over the accessories you get with the cup of mocha are a 10 gram bean scoop, a bag of single use paper filters, and you're able to pretty much use any one to two cup paper filters along with the cup of mocha for future reference. And the cup of mocha itself is made up of a 320 mil thermos tumbler with a spill free lid, and that filter holder attachment screws down into the thermos tumbler nice and tight, and you can even travel with it like this, but when you're ready to brew, pop the lid, screw up the filter holder and away you go. There's also what's referred to as a collecting pad for when you finish brewing and you need to remove that filter holder, you can place it on here to avoid any unnecessary mess. So for a typical pour over brew, we're gonna use a coffee to water ratio of one to 16.5. And we know the tumbler holds 320 mils, but I'm gonna leave a tiny bit of space under the lid here and fill it up to 300 mils. And then that equates to around 18 grams of coffee we'll use. First things first though, let's get the brewer set up, have the filter holder in place, add your paper filter and give this a nice rinse. Once that's done, throw out your rinse water, and next we're gonna weigh out our coffee and grind that to a medium fine grind, which would be a typical pour over grind. Add your beans into the cone, and now it's time to brew. Now, you may be wondering why I'm using a milk jug for pouring my water with the cup of mucker. And the truth is, well, I don't really imagine many of us to be carrying around a gooseneck kettle for our pour overs on adventures where we might wanna take the cup of mucker. So a good alternative is to bring along a milk jug and the cup of mucker tumbler even fits inside it. Now, it has all the control and precision you need if you're somewhere where the gooseneck kettle is just impractical. And you could also consider grinding your beans to save on space, taking a hand grinder too, whilst we're at it. Now I pre-measured the boiling water from the tumbler and then transferred it into the milk jug. And that gave me the exact amount of water I need for my brew. And following a basic pour over brewing method, where you first add a little bit of water to those grounds as your pre-infusion, and then wait 30 seconds for the beans to fully become saturated, before then adding the rest of your water in small circles from the inside out and then back in again. Since it is quite a shallow filter, you will want to pulse pour that water in slowly into the filter. And it should take still around two to three minutes to complete a full brew. Although I did find the unbleached paper filters with the cup of mucker did extend that brew time significantly. And then once it's done and it's completely finished dripping, we're just gonna remove the filter holder off the tumbler by unscrewing it. We can place that on the collection pad and then we can add our lid to the tumbler by screwing that down on. Now this has a really nice comfortable lip you can drink straight out of. It's gonna keep your coffee nice and hot for a few hours to come. Ah, oh, that's delicious. And it's also spill proof. So you can place that on the side of your bag, say if you're going hiking or so forth. And this tumbler is also a good size to fit most cup holders in your car and easier to clean really. Throw away these grinds, rinse everything under the tap, and they're very durable plastic and metal. So a quick dry and you're done for next time. And that's the Wakako Cup of Mocha for you. It's one of the neatest portable pour over devices I've brewed with. And having that pour over integrated into the thermal tumbler reduces all those individual items you have to carry. And being a good sized thermal mug, that spill proof means you can enjoy your coffee hot now or take it along and it'll still be hot at the end of the journey. So if you have any questions on the Wakako Cup of Mocha, throw them in the comment section down below and we'll get straight back to you. Don't forget to hit that little bell icon on your screen and then that way you stay notified when we bring out new videos just like this every week. If you've enjoyed this video, hit the thumbs up. Thanks for watching and we'll see you next time.